the infamous brass screws, these three chaps here. Um, people tell you you're not supposed to touch them, um, but they can be very useful uh, in providing the idle system with some headroom. Now the amount of air the idle system requires is at its minimum when the engine is up to temperature, nice and hot, and nothing is switched on, nothing else is on other than the engine. At which point you can set the bypass for the throttles to equal that amount of air, meaning that our friend the idle system over here, idle motor, is then closed. What this then means is that under any other load, aircon, headlights, whatever, the idle system then has the most amount of headroom which to adjust for it. Um, this means that on overrun there is air going into the engine which has the uh, amusing side effect of giving you some nice pops and bangs out of the exhaust. So only really to be done on a car that's been decatted. Uh, but it's completely harmless and uh, yeah it's uh, it can also give you some um, nice uh, stuck in traffic characteristics where the idle system has enough um, headroom to actually drive the car at idle at idle speed so in traffic you can just use the clutch um, how to do it um, so this is the master screw this basically allows air from the plenum here into the bypass and then these two are for the right and left sides accordingly um, there is stuff in the Renault manual about balancing the banks and nominally the exhaust can be balanced by setting these two differently uh, but they pretty much abandoned it by the time they got to the DeLorean um, and there's no way in hell you can get the uh, screws out of the exhaust to be able to take individual readings anyway. Um, so what I do is I back each of these screws off by a number of turns, in this case I've done it four turns because this, this car actually has, this engine has quite a lot of headroom available um, and then when the engine is nice and hot and at idle uh, with these two backed off by the same number you then undo this one until the idle starts to rise. Uh, you'll start to hear this whistling and you can actually hear the, the hissing coming through the flat reducing because this is air that's not then turning right angles and going through the, the brass pipe but it instead coming up through the uh, throttles, uh, th through the throttle bypass instead. Um, and uh, get it to the point where the engine starts to, close, uh, to speed up and do it back up again by half a turn to a turn and, uh, and there you have it, your idle system now has uh, the most amount of headroom it can possibly have. Enjoy.